Hello comrades and welcome back to Steve on Steve plays Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as the Soviet Union. Now before we get into this video I just wanted to thank you guys so much for the amazing response I got for my 200 subscriber videos. You guys are the best and you've just proven my point that I made in that video. Thank you for all of the amazing suggestions, I will definitely be looking into most of them because most of them are amazing and I will definitely want to take up most of them so thank you very much for that. And let's get right back into the video. So in the last episode, we finally went to war with Germany and all their friends. Now, this war is being a bit difficult. For example, this was not supposed to happen. Which is why, um... Yeah. This is a bit of a tricky situation. I'm gonna redirect the troops from Finland. Yeah. There's no point in declaring war on them just now. Oh, come on. So yeah, Comrade Vatutin. You will be redirected to the Belarusian front. Actually... To this kind of general area, to the northern front, I suppose. Not the... Estonian front. Which is a thing, apparently, now. Um... Stalin... I think Stalin is here, yeah. You'll stay to retake Azerbaijan soon. But meanwhile, I needed to focus on taking out this naval invasion, which I was unable to foresee. Unfortunately, that was a bit of an oversight on my part. I never expect invasions in the Black Sea. I guess I just don't... The fall of Kiev. Oh, right, I just forgot that Kiev is not ours. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, okay, let's continue increasing. Okay, so it looks like the Ukraine might capitulate soon. Um, oh, yeah, they're literally... Oh, they should capitulate at the end of this day. And Belarusia should capitulate soon, and the Baltic Duchy as well. Let's see how that works out. Alright, the Kingdom of Ukraine has capitulated. Oh, God, this is terrifying. I hate when this happens. It makes no sense to me why the entire front line just turns, turns into this disgusting border gore mess. There's no way that that is, like, mechanically sound. Because it's definitely not sound design wise um, let's continue on pausing yeah the game slowed down pretty significantly because of everything that's happening which is understandable Caucasian expansion okay so I'm j okay so finally this event fired I've been waiting for years okay so we're just fighting on Azerbaijan so we'll get the Armenia thing okay we demanded Armenia submits come on Armenia we want to be friends sorry my mouse is getting a bit trapped Alright, so... Okay, this is no longer a problem, because... The Ukraine capitulated, of course. Uh, Stalin, get back to your work. We need to take out Armenia first. That'll make it a lot easier to take out Azerbaijan. Wait, Iran declared war on Azerbaijan? How dare you? Iran, I will fucking clock you. Alright, this is... This situation is still a mess. Zhukov, can you handle it? Oh, it doesn't look like you can. Mm. Oh god, this front is such a mess. I can't handle it. This is making me want to cry. What? Wait, Germany's at war with Iran? Because <laughs> Germany guarantees Azerbaijan. That's hilarious. Um, wow, I did not expect that. Alright, this is a cluster truck of large proportions. I want to make a juicy encirclement here, but I just don't have the divisions. So I'm gonna have to redirect my other Finland army over there under Comrade Golikov to assist in the uh, destruction of the Estonian pocket. Alright, the situation in the Ukraine is going very well, although this border gore is disrupting our front line quite significantly. Alright, I think we'll be able to redraw them. Alright, Comrade Govorov. Wait, why are you here, Zhukov? Zhukov, I want you to be entirely reassigned to finishing off Estonia. That is my top priority right now. Uh, who else is assigned down here? Why are there so many people here? Alright. Chervyshenko and Chubisov. You boys are getting... Uh, your front line to be drawn. Whew, okay, this can be a bit of a mess. Alright, I imagine this is not the most fun to watch, but I'm sorry, it needs to be done. Okay. 
Okay, kind of have you focus on... This army will focus on Romania. Chervyshenko, you will assist in holding the Ukrainian front, I suppose is the best way to call it. Oh yeah, we're not over the austrian hungarians That's interesting, I forgot about that. I didn't realize it. Well, no, I did forget that we're not over. And Govrov, you can just kind of support this little bulge here. Okay, that sounded very wrong. But in a good way. Uh-huh, so... We... What is the situation in Romania? Why are we not advancing? I feel like we need to be advancing with, like, extreme haste. I think we can take out Romania very, very quickly. Because I'm just gonna make a beeline for their capital. That seems like the most uh, reasonable thing to do. Alright, we're going to war with Armenia. Um, Comrade Stalin, please uh, ensure final victory. I'm gonna halt all of my fronts on the actual... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna halt all of my attacks on the actual main front. Until all of our troops are organized. Except for the Romanian thing, which I'm micromanaging myself. Alright, you guys keep pushing. Don't let them reorganize. Okay, this is going great. Okay, we're about to seize the capital. Yes, you keep them occupied. Perfect. Alright, we have seized, seized Ploeshti. Ooh, danger. We're almost at their capital. Okay. Bit of a stall in Armenia because of the mountains. That makes sense. Azerbaijan is actually pushing into Persia. That is beautiful. Alright, I give the order to crush the Estonian pocket. Okay, that is going a lot better than I was hoping for. That makes me a very, very happy man. Alright, we're about to take the Romanian capital, Bucharest. Hopefully this will result in their capitulation. I don't know, will it? No, it won't. They have 24% capitulation. I guess we need to take Constanza and I suppose Craiova as well. Uh, that makes sense. Alright, we have a few more military factories. We want to get a bit more motorized and a bit more any year because we're not doing very well on equipment although no we're actually doing well i always think that i'm not gonna do well because normal hobby 4 if i keep pulling this kind of shit i will just completely destroy all of my supplies but in hearts of, i mean in kaiserreich this it doesn't seem to happen which is very strange all right uh finish the estonian pocket please all right we're pushing in armenia at least mildly you will what can you expect it's mountains and Romania has capitulated. Very nice. That liberates... Frees up an entire army. Which is a very, very beautiful thing. And I think we're about to cut off a very substantial amount of troops. Which is something that makes me very moist. Alright, Baltic Duchy has capitulated as well. Which doesn't really mean a lot at the moment. Um, Chibisov, you're free to act. Take out the last Romanian pocket. And we have just surrounded... Oh, come on, you can do it, boys. Oh, come on, this is silly. Yes, okay, we have encircled about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, around 10 divisions. That's not very poor at all. Let's have Chibisov take care of that pocket. That'll be his priority. That seems like an appropriate way to use his resources at the moment. What are we lacking? We're lacking a ton of rubber. Okay, we got a bunch of oil from Romania, which is great. But we need rubber. Why are we not getting rubber? Naval route efficiency, I guess we're getting raided. How? Though. Let's just get some from the Dutch East Indies, okay. That should uh, be okay for now. Armenia is about to fold. Okay, so Germany keeps calling in these countries that I capitulate, which feels very strange to me. Just crush them, dude. That's another pocket, by the way. Let's take a look at our casualties. Ours are probably disgusting. Uh, we're not anywhere here. This is... Alright, we took 360,000 casualties. The Germans, we caused them... Okay, we took twice as many casualties as they did. Okay, let's ignore that. I did not... Spain just joined the Reichspact. But why, Spain? You can see that they're losing. There's no reason to... Although I suppose the war is kind of undecided. Nah. Mm. I mean, I suppose that's how you could look at it. But that's okay. I probably get to take some Spanish land. And I ain't got a problem with that. 
All right, Chipisov, uh, make sure the pocket is contained. Soviet Europe, I don't know what that does. Uh, we don't need any of this. We don't want to join the international. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't. None of these focuses are really good right now. A rifle for every man, infantry equipment production. Yeah, of course, why not? And um, yeah, now that the Estonia front has been taken care of, let's assign an army to just kind of take that stuff out. Um, Comrade Zhukov is free from his occupation in Estonia. Let's assign him to the north. And Comrade Shiposhnikov to abroad. S Actually, no, this will be the south, more or less. We'll wait for them to re reorganize and then we will perform our offensive. Our coup de grace, so to speak, our killing blow, our Operation Bagration, if you will. Yes, I suppose that might as well be what it is. This is a very sad encircle. This is the German equivalent of Stalingrad in this game. How are they getting supplied? Oh, is it because they have Iasi? I imagine it's because they have Iasi. Let's put a bit of a squeeze on them. So, you no longer have Iasi. How are your supplies doing now? Let's crush them. I'm tired of this pocket. Finish them. Yeah, this bulge is quite sexy. In a very bad way this time. Uh, we need more fighters, of course. Who can never have enough fighters? We need a bit more aluminium, Commune of France, yes please. Uh, yeah, but I'm actually very impressed by... It. Oh no. I didn't think about that. Spain are gonna make France capitulate, wow. New Atheist Museum, cool. That's gonna... Alright, so we have taken out the German uh, encirclement. Okay, now we made them have 322,000 casualties. Take that, Germany. And war casualties haven't actually grown that much. So, Mr. Chibisov, thank you very much for that beautiful service. You'll definitely be getting a medal for that. And go here to support the Southern Front. And Comrade Golikov... Yeah, you can perform some kind of sneaky shit from here, can't you? Nah, no, there's no port. Mm. Uh, you just go back to guarding Finland, because they might join the Reich's Pact at any moment. And I'm very certain that they will. So I'm gonna justify a war on them. How is Armenia still not capitulated? That is actually making me very upset. I mean, I guess it's mountains, but come on, Stalin. I mean, no disrespect, Joseph Jugashvilevich, but come on. Alright, our troops are almost done redeploying, which is lovely. Sweden have actually performed a naval invasion in Germany, that's amazing, good for them. Um, the Austrians are just chilling. I was, I'm surprised by that, because in my previous game they joined the war against me, but this time they're just they're just chilling, which I mean good for them. Alright, so we've regained Armenia, very nice. And now Stalin, please assign yourself to the conquest of Azerbaijan in the most uh, prompt way possible. Let's assign half of you here. Let's make another order and assign half of you here. There we go. Uh, please make that happen rather quickly. I'd rather like to go to war. All right, so yeah, they don't have that many tank divisions, which is very nice, but there is a lot of them, a lot of troops. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. All right, so we have just finished our conquest justification for Azerbaijan, and we'll go to war probably in about a week. Meanwhile, I will order our general offensive to commence. I think this is probably a bad time, but we might as well. Okay, that's a lot of green. I am glad I made that decision. Alright, that should go well. Oh god, speed 5 is not working. <laughs> Alright, so this shouldn't be too difficult. I'm amazed that Persia has sucked so hard at this. That's kind of amazing. But yes, um, sorry Azerbaijan, but your days were numbered. Truth is, Azerbaijan... Game was rigged from the start. All right, they should break through in uh, no time. All right, so we are we have mopped up the southern front very efficiently. I'm very glad to hear 
or rather see that that's happening. Um, as far as I can see, we're pushing everywhere except this uh, disgusting bulge. Can we cut it off? Is that a possibility at all? I don't think it is. That's hmm, sad. Alright, we need more infantry equipment. Uh, what is this? We need tungsten, aluminium. Yep, France, please, please, please. Thank you very much. We have some more uh, air zones or airplanes deployable. Um, oh my god, there's so many. Mm, heavy fighters, Jesus. Oh lord, there's so many. Um, okay, let's do inner war fighters. We've got a bunch of surplus ones, so we might as well use them. Oh, I'm... Okay, I'm not counting this very well. Alright, let's assign you to this fucking guy. No, not this guy, this guy. Sure, that works. Let's assign a few more planes, because we got them. Alright, that's over 300. Uh, give them to Shaposhnikov, that seems rational to me. How many planes you got, Germany? No, that's Poland. Two and a half thousand, I have five thousand. Okay, yeah, we are peachy in terms of air force. But yes, our offensive is going very well. Alright, uh, Cherevyshenko has run out of orders. I want you to... Support this kind of general area. That seems like a reasonable thing to ask of, don't you think? Yeah, supplies are a bit of an issue, and how are our equipment? Yeah, we're okay on equipment, although we're not very good on anti-air. Let's see. Let's take out the uh, spending, spending on the infantry equipment and put it on anti-air. Why have you not taken it? Oh my god. Uh, I swear the AI sometimes is um, something to uh, behold. Alright, come on, we should take Shirvan and uh, they should capitulate. No? Please. Alright, there we go. Azerbaijan belongs to me, thank you very much. Turkey. Just... just chillin'. Uh, and now, Mr. Stalin, I would like you to just chill on the border with Persia. Actually, Stalin, you feel like going on a bit of a winter vacation? We're going to Finland. I know in the real world you didn't have a very pleasant experience with Finland exactly. But we're doing what we gotta do. Alright, let's see. Military. More into anti-air. That's the lesson I've learned. Okay, our offensive is going very well. Azerbaijan regained a bit more stability. I feel like they should revamp that, but whatever. That's just my opinion. I swear, I've been doing this series for quite a while. They probably should have updated this mod by now, but I don't know. Who am I to speak? Okay, speed 5 is barely working. Okay, Lithuania's capitulated. Cool. Okay, we are definitely pushing on, like, the whole front. Uh, which is very nice to see. We're taking a lot more casualties than the German- Oh, my god. France, you absolute unit. Jacques de Roy, you absolute unit. Damn, you're Leninist too, apparently. No, you're not. Uh... Oh, na now National Singalisk, okay. Oh yeah, Spain, what were you thinking? You have 33 divisions, you're attacked to... Oh my god, sometimes this, uh, the AI is, um... I've already mentioned this, but okay, we are... We are going without anybody stopping us. This is... Unique. Did not expect that at all. We need to perform some kind of breakthrough. This could be the encirclement of the century, boys. This could be the encirclement of the century. If it works, which it doesn't look like it will. Caucasian expansion, okay, cool. Oh my god, this is making me very moist in some very inappropriate places. Alright, you guys go seize Warsaw, you guys complete the ring. Yeah, tighten the noose. Tighten the fucking noose. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Push forward, keep pushing. Their entire front line has collapsed. Oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This has got to be the biggest encirclement I've ever performed. Holy crap, that is a lot of divisions. By god. Alright, you guys must maintain the momentum. You must keep pushing. We cannot allow them to try to break out. 
We must capitalize on this amazing opportunity. Wow, that is... I did not expect that. The fall of Warsaw as well. Well, I mean, I was comparing this to Operation Bagration. But man, I did not expect that it was going to be as successful. Good lord, that was incredible. Holy shit. Man, this episode was quite something. We took out Romania, uh, some Caucasian countries. We took out Lithuania, I mean, uh, yeah, Lithuania, the Baltic Duchy. We took out Poland, effectively, because we've taken their capital. We are not that far from Berlin, you guys. We're about to take out uh, Belarus as well. Oh man, this is incredible. Wow. But honestly, this is probably the biggest encirclement I've ever had. That's like... That's like 50 divisions. That's crazy. Well, man, you guys are all so fucked. Well, Germans are lucky. Most of them aren't German divisions. But they're still not going to be able to recover from that loss. And we're pushing hard. There is no chance that they're going to recover that encirclement. There is no chance in hell. And we even managed to push all the way through Moscow. I mean, to Warsaw. Man, their entire front line collapsed. I told you bulges aren't a good idea. Damn. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. This was very exciting. I completely unexpected how well that turned out. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked. Please subscribe and uh, like. Wow, I sound terrible. Uh, please leave a comment in the comments below. Having any recommendations, suggestions, or tips, or just want to chat, please join my Discord. It's in the link and it's on my uh, About page. And consider supporting me on Patreon if you feel like that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.